Hey guys, welcome to AndroidAdvices.com and today we are going to show you how you could update your Samsung Galaxy S2 GT i9100 with the latest Android 4.0.3 firmware. This one is more stable than the previous firmware which we had updated on our blog and in order to get started you need to visit the link in the description of this video and then go through the pre-update instructions which we had updated earlier like you can backup your sms contacts call log and everything once you are ready with all these backups click on the next page and then you would be given with the download package once you download the same you would get these files onto your pc next you need to go onto your phone and under settings applications development usb debugging select the check the option and enable this and then get your phone into the downloads mode in order to get your phone into download mode you need to press the volume down button and the home key and then switch on your phone or else you can go through this quick video which is embedded into the article next once your phone is into the downloads mode you need to select the files as mentioned here first of all you need to run the odin application once you run the same you would find that the phone is connected here and this area is colored and then select the files PDA phone CSC Do make a note that you do not select the repartition option unless an entity is specified in this article. Click on start to proceed with the update. It would take around 5 to 10 minutes for the whole process to complete and following this your phone would be updated to the latest firmware which is available for the Galaxy S2. So as you can see the partition has been done and the file progress has been shown in the message log here. Once the progress bar is initiated in the top you can also find that the same is shown on the phone also which means that the firmware files have been transferred to the phone once the process is completed the phone would be rebooted and you would be on the new firmware following which you need to get the phone into the recovery mode which is by long press the up key and the home key and then switch in on the device once you're in the recovery mode you should select the wipe data or factory reset option and then select the wipe cache partition following this you can need to reboot the phone and then you are ready to go you in order to check your firmware you need to go to the settings about phone and firmware version and you can find the same if you have any queries you can just ask us using this comment section meanwhile let us just check out the status of this So almost 50% done
the update process is about to complete as you can see the message log is being updated here here the phone has been updated you get a pass message or the succeeded message here and the phone would be rebooting which means that the process was complete and you are ready to go as mentioned earlier you need to go through the other steps which are listed in the same article on androidvices.com do subscribe to our channel for more related videos thanks for watching